you know, it's it's just funny to me because you work so hard for this stuff, you know, um, day in, day out, day in, day out, and it all can go to shit in a day, you know what I mean? So... delivered, went and did my cardio, uh, finished my last two meals, you know, I took an Epsom salt bath, I was really, really happy with the way I looked when I got here last night, even after, again, 17 hours worth of traveling, um, I still looked really, really good, I was holding some inflammation, obviously, you know, I need some stretching and stuff like that, I'm still holding a little bit right now, um, but not nearly as bad as yesterday, um, but I felt good, and um, so sent in my photos and check in everything to my coach, Jamie, this morning, and um, she gave me more food. We're gonna start feeding into the show. So it's not a lot, it's not a ton. It's like 200 grams of carbs. Um, so my breakfast, I have it sitting right here. Um, we're doing Greek yogurt because I do that every single day. I just think it helps with my digestion. It doesn't bloat me, it actually makes me feel better. So I do Greek yogurt every day. So Greek yogurt. Um, I have cream of rice, just a packet of cream of rice. I have 140 grams of blueberries and three ounces of chicken. That's my breakfast. So I'll have five meals today. This is my biggest meal of the day. Um, I always do that. My breakfast is always my biggest meal of the day. And then I always bring my own salt shaker with me. So sodium and water intake is really important. You are peak week as far as keeping it consistent. So I just always bring the same sea salt grinder and do two twists on everything that I salt because then I know I'm getting this exact same amount of salt every single time that I use it. It's the same grinder and everything. So this would be my salt shaker. Um, and that's it. And then after we finish up here, I'm going to go train um, and then do a little searching, walking around, things like that. I'm going to go try and find a smoke shop, see if I can find a cigar for this evening. Uh, I didn't have one for last night, but I want my cigar for bed. And uh, that's about it. So I'll take you on the ride. Body-wise looks great. So 
just keep pushing. Um, give me another video with a higher angle so I can see the suit and how it's sitting on you on top. And uh, that's it. Good job. Okay, so I am back from the gym. Just did my last glute workout and half of my cardio. I did half of it because I wanted to split it up. <coughs> 60 minutes today, so I did 30 minutes. Um, I wanted to split it up because I was hungry. And I want to have the ability to have some movement and stuff later on tonight, too. So, um, this is my second meal we're going on now. And um, I'm doing two ounces of chicken and two ounces of shrimp, which this is Mega Fit Meals. Again, not affiliated with them, but they're the food I've been using my whole prep, so I'm continuing to use them, brought them with me, and then I have another order that's being delivered tomorrow here at the hotel, so that I can take food with me to Japan as well. So I've got that, got green beans here, and I'm doing three rice cakes, and again, I'll use my salt shaker on that. And then once I eat, I'm gonna take a shower, put on a little sundress, and go walk down to the beach, check the area out a little bit, um, spend a couple of hours kind of looking around. Cool part was this morning I went down and I was actually looking for a store so that I could get um, a couple things that I forgot and realized that there's Planet Fitness and there's a Target literally right down the street. So that's perfect. So I went to Planet Fitness to get my workout in and I grabbed all the stuff I needed at Target. Um, we're right in Honolulu, right in the city, so everything is right here. It's very convenient, which is really good. That's something that I think that promoters need to take into consideration for athletes too. It's like the location of the show and what's around it because this is really super convenient. Um, the airport's only 15 minutes from here, so it's very, very easy. Um, makes life easy. So, good, good call. Good call here. All right, I gotta eat.
most concerned about happening seems to be happening right now. If it is happening right now, I'm actually happy about that. PMS. It was like as soon as I was walking back from the beach, I could feel it starting to hit. Um, this is exactly how I felt during show day when I was there in Dallas last year. It was one of those things where I could just feel my stomach start to expand and there was no pulling it back in. Um, so when I got back to the room, I took my photos, which is what you guys saw, and uh, it was really hard for me to control my core. Um, I mean, thankfully, I was checking with Jamie, so um, I sent those over to her, and she's like, oh, you're feeling out really nicely. She goes, um, but I just, she had originally told me to cut out the last half of my cardio because I've been walking around a lot today, and I said, I, I think I need to go do my last half of cardio. Um, because, and she said, you know, you look like you're holding water. And I said, yeah, I feel like I'm holding water. It's really hard for me. I feel bloated. Um, so I just went to cardio. Um, and tonight I'm going to start taking, uh, expel and I'm going to take another Epsom salt bath tonight and hope that my period actually comes. If my period comes, oh. It's, this would be great because I could get it out of my system right now. I always start to look better as soon as my period comes. So if it was to come tonight, that would be absolutely perfect timing. Perfect. So I'm actually praying that's what this is right now. <laughs> I'm praying that my period comes tonight because if it does, by Saturday I should be straight and then I'll be perfectly fine for Japan. I'll have my period the whole time I'm in Japan, but I don't mind that. I just want to get the symptoms out of the way. So, it's happening. Uh, fun parts of being a female, right? Well, let's go. Alright, uh, I think it's time to go to the athlete check-ins. Um, I haven't done a whole lot today other than try to mitigate what's going on inside here. Took an Epsom salt bath, did my cardio, did my training, eat, all of the things, stretching. Um, and actually right now, I'm feeling pretty good. So all of those things are working. So I'm going to get my heels on. 
going up with lace and head over to check-ins. We'll see you over there. So you better tell him I clap. I better go and watch you like. So what's your sign? Cause I like you. Got a place where you stay for the night. But I'm too shy to so invite you. You gotta go. Number 15, Sean Lewis, Virginia. One of my dangerous kind. I'm trying to see how it goes up. So Predation started at 8 for the pros. Um, I felt like the whole morning was really rushed. And I just, it, as soon as I got back there, it was like you didn't have a chance to, there was no light. So I couldn't see anything. Um, I had no idea what my body looked like, no idea what my tan looked like, which was a problem. Um, once I left the venue, went outside and took a video, I realized how splotchy my tan was on the back. Uh, and it didn't look like that when I left the hotel room. So it had to be something having to do with the glaze, when they put the glaze on me. It just didn't mix well with the tan because it was bad. It was bad. Uh, and I didn't, didn't know until I got out, outside the venue. Um, so, you know, in general, I felt like I hit my presentation really well. I felt like I did my, my posing really well. I'm very, very happy with my overall look, like my, my makeup and my hair and all that kind of stuff. And my glutes actually look really, really good, but because of this whole period situation, uh, I just have like a layer of water over top of me. I mean, I'm soft. It is what it is. So, um, it's, it sucks. It just, it sucks. There's nothing else you can say about that. Um, you know, I, my biggest thing is I really wanted to nail my, my conditioning, my look going into the show and that didn't happen. So, um, you know, there's, like I said in the, in the previous story from backstage, there's not a whole lot you can do about it. It's like you have to fight against, you want to stay tight, um, and you want to be full, but you can't go too far because then you pull water. And my stomach, last night, my stomach was a wreck. Like, I couldn't even hold it in. So, you know, we aired on the side of caution with food this morning, and because we had to. And um, I just didn't pop how I needed to. I didn't fill out how I needed to. Um, and the, the but we did the best we could do. Like that was the best thing we could do with what we were handed. It just, it just is what it is. So, so at this point I'm going to eat a meal. Um, I'm going to rinse and respray this tan and then I'm going to use my own glaze. I should have done that this morning anyway. Uh, I let them, it was a different tanning company and I let them use their glaze and I shouldn't have done that. I should have just done it myself. Um, but again, because pre judging was so fast this morning, I didn't have any choice. It was just like, you just have to deal with what you have to deal with, you know? So, um, <clears throat> yeah, lesson learned with that. 
Um, but you know, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I just I'm gonna go back and I feel again. I feel like I I feel like I really did well with my posing. <sighs> just wish that. Just wish I didn't have my fucking period. <laughs> ah, what are you gonna do, right? I mean. I got another week to, to come back and do it better. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it better in Japan. That is what it is. That's all I can do. Oh, yeah. So that was all my Insta stories that I just did. Um, so I got... You know, it's it's just funny to me because you work so hard for this stuff, you know, um, day in, day out, day in, day out, and it all can go to shit in a day, you know what I mean? So I'm really glad I decided to do two shows back to back because if I didn't, I'd be really upset with myself right now. So I'm just going to fucking nail it for, for Japan. That's it. That's it. That's all. That, that's it. Done.